hello welcome back to the channel today's video is a bit different i've not done a video in my car yet which is pretty mad um but yeah as you can tell by the title today i'm going to be doing like a q and a um like mukbang i just went to mcdonald's because i want to try that trend that was on tiktok a while ago i saw it again the other day and i thought this would be a great opportunity to try this trend um so i got that vanilla milkshake and i got a hang on let's try and get it out i was really worried that um it was going to spill everywhere because he gave it to me and it was like quite full um so i went to mcdonald's and i've drove driven like 10 minutes away um to a car park that is usually quite quiet but not gonna lie it's very busy this weekend i feel like all the tourists are down um but it's okay it should be fine um and here i've got my double espresso so before we get into anything let's give this a go so let's get my i feel like i need to turn my car off because you can probably hear that running hopefully you heard everything i just said um but yeah hi i'm kaylee if you're new to the channel then welcome um i post fashion beauty and lifestyle videos i also like to vlog um don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you're enjoying it um so i've just taken the lid off the vanilla milkshake i am gonna have to keep turning around and stuff though because i need place i need space to put this stuff down so i've just taken the lid off that now i'm gonna take the lid off this double espresso you did not see that i am that person that will lick the top of um a yogurt lid if you don't do that then do you even like food um but i'm just gonna tip this double espresso into the vanilla milkshake i feel like i should have done a tiktok on this you know oh, there we go put that in there. and oh shit i need to hang on hang on i ain't got a lot of room in this car i'm not gonna lie i've only got one I've got two cup holders there, but this is so, un like, what is the point of that even being there? Because, like, you, you can't even put anything in there, really. Right, so that's pretty full now. I can't really show you, um, because it's going to tip everywhere. But I'm going to give that a mix. A good old mix. I actually, do you know what? I actually forgot that McDonald's just do vanilla milkshakes, like... Because I actually quite like, I like milkshakes to be fair. I like any type of milkshake, except from chocolate milkshake. I don't like chocolate milkshake. Um, fun fact already for you. We have been filming for three minutes already. Right, I think that's stirred enough. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoever came up with this idea, you are a saint. That's fucking good. I don't even know if I'm allowed to swear on this channel, but rate that. What should we rate that? Hmm. I want to rate that a nine out of 10, 9.5. Um, because I always think that a 10 deserves to go to something life changing or something like that. Um, and I've got my McDonald's here. I only just picked up a small fries and a cheeseburger with no mustard or pickles because that's your girl. That's what your girl orders when she orders a cheeseburger. <sighs> Bang. I love a good cheeseburger from McDonald's. I should probably get on with the video. Um, I did get ketchup as well, actually. So I'm going to open that for my little chibis. But I hope everyone's had a good week. I know the weather hasn't been amazing, to be honest. Um, we have had a bit of like a storm. It wasn't too bad down here, to be fair. They said it was going to be a lot worse, but it's been all right. Anyways, let's get on with the questions. Okay, so I'm going to start with this question because I feel like I get asked it quite a lot. Um, and I think I have maybe answered this before, to be fair. But it says, what made you want to become an influencer? Um, like I said, I think I've answered this before, but I've always known that I was very creative. Like I knew that whatever job I was going to get into when I was older, I wanted it to be creative. And 
I think influencing is very creative like in terms of like you know you model like I've always liked the modeling side of things like not that I've done modeling professionally but I've done like you know funny little like things at home sort of thing with my mum and you know I've always been quite confident around a camera um all my hobbies were quite you know like acting photography like art like like I said very creative and when I think I went to school like started school in 2012 like secondary school I think that's when Instagram started to like become a thing it was very new like no one really knew anything about it but um I loved it and I just and snapchat as well like I loved all social medias before I even knew that I loved them if that makes sense so basically I kind of tried to get into it when I was about 14 15 but I did get um a bit of hate at school well not hate but I don't know what you want to want to call it so I attempted it then and then I just didn't really work I think it was just maybe wrong timing I don't really know I do always say that I kind of regret that that's probably the one thing that I regret like listening to others because now I've got to the stage that I have like I don't listen to people like I do what I want um that which is that is the next question actually um so yeah I don't know I think I kind of knew I was into it before I even actually realized if that makes sense so then I kind of when I left school I think it was before I think it was when I was leaving school I think it was when I was in year 13 like in sixth form that's when I kind of started to do it a little bit um and I thought yeah this is going to be my hobby when I leave school so to be honest that's how I got into it I got into it in my own kind of way yeah I, I didn't really look at like influences and think oh my god like I want to be them like I kind of just fell into it to be honest which is actually quite a nice thing because I think a lot of people these days, don't get me wrong, like obviously you're going to see people and think, oh my god, like what they do is amazing, blah, blah, blah. But you don't realise half the stuff until you start doing it. But um, yeah, that's how I fell into it. And to be fair, it was quite like a nice, genuine way. So yeah. Okay, so the next question is, how did you get over the initial embarrassment slash caring what people think of starting YouTube? Okay, so like I mentioned a minute ago, I tried to start youtube when i was about i think i was about 14 15 um around that time basically middle of secondary school and yeah i got a bit taken the mick out of and to be honest at that time i couldn't deal with it and that is absolutely fine like like you're allowed to try something and fail and try again and succeed and yeah as much as I say I really regret not carrying on and kind of not having that attitude but that just wasn't me and I guess in some respects that's why I shouldn't really regret it sometimes because like it just wouldn't have been me like I wouldn't have been true to myself and I don't really know how well I've, what, how well I would have done at school because I'm not gonna lie I didn't do amazingly well at school anyway so I don't know if that would have been like an like a distraction so um but then obviously when i said that i started it again when i in like year 13 i think people didn't really care them i went to a girl's school and i stayed at that girl's school for sixth form so i'm not gonna lie that probably like didn't help like everything um i don't really know how i got over it to be honest i think one day i was just like do you know what i don't care anymore like i just don't like i woke i literally it's like one of those things when you know when people say oh i woke up on a random saturday and made a decision it was kind of like that to be honest um and i think i've mentioned this before i'm sure i have or i've thought about it a lot but these things do come with age and maturity like i would not expect like a 13 year old to be like i don't care like don't get me wrong some girls are like that which amazing go you but if you were shy like me then you know i wouldn't really don't like let it bother you and just got to remember that also this is something that people say a lot is that you're probably never going to see any of those people at school again or when you leave school like so why do they matter now but then like i said it's, it's a bit difficult i can understand um i don't really know what school is like these days but um yeah 
if you are someone that is kind of trying to get into it but you're a bit worried about what people think and blah de blah always feel free to drop me a message on instagram i really like talking to people and helping them out um i always link my instagram and stuff down below i think it's also on my intro um <clears throat> so yeah so the next question is what is your go-to spotify playlist i'm actually really glad you asked this because i listen to a lot of music um recently i have been listening to doja cat's new album planet her it's absolutely amazing i love the song with ariana grande i don't do drugs love that song i'm a big ariana grande fan so you got that tea oh, it's so hot in here but i've got the windows down so hopefully i don't look too sweaty um but yeah i was actually thinking about doing a video on this would you like a kind of drive with me i mean i don't really know how that's going to work at the moment i've not got anything to stand my camera up with in my car it's kind of just resting on where my sat nav is like it's there's on my desk on my dashboard um there's like a little groove bit where i put my sat nav so it's kind of like sitting there um but if you have any suggestions on what i can use to like put my camera up with in my car then let me know because i could do with that because i would really like to do like those videos that you know um when you drive around and you like listen to someone's spotify playlist or blah, blah blah i think i watched um i think she's called shannon mooney i follow her on instagram and she does youtube she's really cute um go and check out her videos um i watched her one of that and i actually really enjoyed it so maybe i'll have a go at that um so yeah at the moment i've been listening to that i also like this playlist um let me show you there's this playlist called chill hits which i really like because a lot of the songs i listen to are very like laid back songs and this chill hits playlist it literally looks like this if you can see that's what it looks like um and it updates all the time with like new songs that are like chill um so that's a really good playlist as well um and also oh my god actually i will tell you something i have been listening to this old 2000s vibe um playlist and it's got like avril lavigne um ali and aj it's got like some disney channel stuff like lemonade mouth um selena gomez it looks this is what it looks like this is what the album cover looks like if it would like to focus hello there we go it looks like that i've been jamming i don't know why but every time i go to the gym i've been jamming to that um so yeah give that a listen it's pretty cool um it's got like potential breakup song like all our um avril lavigne's songs on there it's sick also another playlist that i like um like summer songs is if you like house music there's this one called summer house 2013 to 2021 and it's got like old school songs on it it's got like newer songs it's got remixes that's a really good one as well so these are like i think i'm mentioning five here and also this list um this playlist is good it's called the bop list i think this is like a spotify like own one i would like to focus Oh my god what is going on it doesn't like me today does it i think you can see that i think but yeah that's just called the bop list um i can link them all down below by the way if you want to check them out again that's a really good like summery kind of good vibes playlist um so they're kind of got they've got um like newer songs on it hardly in any of this um but yeah the next question was what car do you have i have a see it, ibiza it's a 15 plate so it's a 6j like the model um and i absolutely love it so use my little pride and joy to be fair um on the topic of that basically mm, i don't have to mention this or not mm, do i don't i okay basically if you follow me on instagram if you've been following me for like quite a long time you'll know that i have a second account for my car account but i've not used it since november last year and i don't and i know that one i'm going to use that account for something else in the future and two i just obviously like like i said i haven't posted since november it's really inactive and i feel like i just want to like get rid of it and just post what i want on my instagram instead of just thinking that i have to always post po 
oh my god get your words out i want to post whatever i want and i don't want to have to feel like i can only post fashion and like beauty and lifestyle stuff like i want to like show you guys what i'm about like i would like to say that i'm a little bit different to all like normal girls i don't know but um yeah i want to kind of bring back a little bit of car content on my page so if you wouldn't mind that and if you'd like me to do like a car tour i don't really know what people call it these days um then i'm so up for that i do want to mod my car a little bit more i've got a few like stickers i've got a um i've not got much to be honest i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh yeah i've got all this um but i've got wind deflectors i've got a sun strip and i've got stickers underneath my sun strip and i want to build that up because i want that like to all be full i think that would look sick um but yeah let me know if that's something you'd be interested in because um yeah i want to but i don't want people to unfollow me but then it might attract more people i don't really know so we'll see oh it is so hot man like what is up with this weather he needs to make up his mind so the next question is do i prefer summer or winter fashion and to be honest that's quite a hard one because i love summer and i love seeing like you know people wear bikinis at the beach i love beach vibes and all of that but if i'm being honest i never really know where my fashion stands in summer so i feel like winter is probably my I feel like winter is probably the better option, the better answer to give you because I just feel like a lot of the things I would wear daily is kind of wintry. So yeah, to be honest, yeah. So the next question says, what would you define your fashion sense as? I think she means like, whether it's kind of like street style or kind of like chic or like y2k kind of vibes um to be honest i think yeah it's probably mainly streetwear i feel like i'm either this or that like there isn't really in between with me um i do quite like soft girl vibes not gonna lie i feel like i'm i think there's a definition for this in this okay this is a good like way to describe it so in the summer i feel like i'm moon me hang on what what was i trying to say in the summer i feel like i'm mostly like oh my god i'm actually sweating like it's a joke um i'm mostly soft girl vibes but obviously today is not that day um i'm either that or like kind of streetwear like cycle shorts oversized t-shirt that's kind of what i'm wearing today also if you wonder where this top is from it's from this place cha i went and got a photo for them earlier um I can link this top down below it's actually really cute i actually really love the color and this green little bit um like the embroidery very cute um so i feel like it's either chic or like street style in the summer oh, but then it's kind of like that in the winter though but i feel like i'm more kind of street girl street girl street wear or i think there's something else that you can call soft girl let me look it up i'm sure i've seen on pinterest before no it's not e-girl really it's like basically i think it's something like soft girl but with like a bit of like i want to say tomboyishness with it but i know people probably don't like that word but that's the only word i can think of right now to describe it so yeah um kind of basic let's say i don't i'm not really into the whole y2k like 80s like I don't know that's just not really my vibe if i'm quite honest the next question says what is your favorite brand to work with um so i work the biggest brands i work with are Shein and lounge i'm hoping to work with like bigger brands soon like by the end of the year would be great um but i do love Shein, but um i love lounge more to be honest i've actually got well i'm not going to show you actually that would be a bit weird but i took a photo for them earlier because i've got like the under like set, underwear set on today so that photo will be going live next week which i'm really excited because this is probably my favorite set that i've received from them 
um so yeah and i don't just love lounge because of what they have like in terms of like their underwear and stuff like their apparel or whatever but the girl that i've well both the girls i've had because i was with um i was in in contact with a girl before and then i think she like moved roles or something and now i'm with someone else but they were both they are both so 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 lovely so though so lounge literally have like the best team ever um so yeah like they're very lovely brand to work with they're so kind they're so so they're just amazing and you know can only get up from here babies can only go up from here how do you feel like you've dealt with covid this is a good question because i feel like this is something i maybe have wanted to speak about i don't really know i'm not gonna lie covid has probably yeah covid has affected everyone let's put it that way um whether well i was gonna say whether it's good or bad but let's be fair it's all been bad um but yeah whether it's affected people more so than others or blah -de blah i will say that i think covid has kind of like increased my anxiety a bit i don't really know don't really know if that's other things but um yeah so the first lockdown i was very upset i was like i think i was more like not upset but i didn't really i don't think anyone has really understood what's going on but i was very much like oh my god what's going on like i need to know like i need to know things to like you know be able to get on with things because i the not knowing for me is like shit um so yeah lockdown first lockdown i really struggled for like a week or two and then i think <clears throat> i got myself into a um like routine quite quickly so i don't think i actually mind it and to be fair i think the weather was quite good then as well so i think i managed to get out for walks quite a lot and i think i kind of found myself a little bit to be fair um at, through this all i think i've learned more about myself which is quite a nice thing to be fair um and then second lockdown when was second lockdown i can't remember when the second lockdown was but i think that was pretty average um and then the third lockdown that was like christmas time and i think i struggled that the most to be honest don't really know why but i just remember not really understand like not really like i think because i had things change like change and i thought it would kind of just be like the first one so i was a bit like hmm I just didn't really know what to do with myself, I think. Especially in the winter. I think it was a lot harder in the winter anyway. Um, so, yeah. Overall, I think I've dealt with it quite well. Maybe I Obviously, no one has liked it. And I can't see that I did either. Um, and I think it's changed me a little bit in some respects. But I think it's also changed me for the better in other ways. Um, but sometimes you've just got to look, thing, look at things in, like, the positive ways um you can't always dwell on the past like what has happened hasn't been chosen to happen do you know what i mean um so yeah really it's been really tough at times um i think this year was quite hard because obviously the third lockdown kind of went into the beginning of this year because i had quite a lot of things happen and go on at the beginning of this year so i think i had a lot of mental kind of stress um yeah don't really know when i'm going to talk about that but or if i am but anyways yeah it was okay and i'm better now and let's hope we don't get into another one <laughs> right i think all the other questions are basically the same they were all kind of asked in different ways but they all kind of mean the same thing okay i've actually just had a quick question come through so i'm just going to answer that it says dress up or dress down meaning like whether you prefer dressy outfits or casual wear not gonna lie i prefer casual wear i've said it i've said it and i think we're all thinking the same thing sorry not gonna lie i had a feeling this was gonna happen um but yeah my camera just my camera just died love that but anyway i'm kind of outroing this video anyway so it should be okay um but yeah i've loved this video i hope you've enjoyed kind of 
catching up with me, chatting with me, um, getting to know me a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I've actually really enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to making more car chassis videos. I feel like this is going to be like my proper vibe, you know, just going out for the day, but bringing my camera along and just thinking, you know, let's just do a video in the car. Like that would be perfect. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I've not finished my baggie yet. Let's just like put that away. Um, but yeah, I hope you've all really enjoyed. Um, let me know of any other videos that you would like to see from me. I'm hoping to bring a really fun and exciting video to you soon that may involve another guest um so yeah that'll be exciting i've got a really good plan for that so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that because i'm very excited for it um give this video a like if you haven't already if you've enjoyed it and yeah i'll see you next time guys bye